Alright, so we are on the road again. Thank you guys for joining us. Na kung sinusundan nyo mga vlogs namin. Hopefully you are. Today, it's all about development. Yan ang pinaka-topic. Development ng vlog natin. No? Kasi a lot of people, uh, they think of training. Or inisip nila one-time, big-time. Eh, no? Parang you said it, and then you forget it. Magpa-training tayo, tapos tapos na. Yun na yun. No? Uh, but that's not the case with voice box. Uh, that's not what we're doing. Yun yung ginagawa natin. See, what we do here is we provide the training and also the development. So, you know, pag sinabing training and development, it's just like working out in the gym, no? When you start working out in the gym, let's say, for example, you, you work out, you lift weights, pero hindi natatapos doon yung, yung ano mo. Hindi natatapos yung exercise mo, yung, yung pagiging fit mo. You see, what happens is kailangan binabantayan mo din yung kinakain mo, binabantayan mo din yung diet mo, binabantayan mo yung calorie intake mo. And that's what's important, no? There's training, but then there's the taking care of it. And that's what we're going to be doing. Because we're going to be visiting our partners again. Our partners from uh, the great AutoKid. And so, my partners on this AutoKid, we're going to take a look at and uh, their, their leaders, their team leaders. Babalikan natin sila. We're going to check them out. We're going to see how they're doing. And also, we're going to be applying yung tinatawag nating coaching strategies. For me, coaching is one of the most important tools. If not the most important. Bakit? Because it allows you to have that open conversation with your, your team, with your employees, with your partners. And this is what a lot of organizations are missing. Because they only have a management. They don't have leadership. Management is very different from leadership. If you have a management team, good. Okay, yan. But if you have a leadership team, these are people who actually create and develop more leaders. If you're a leader, your task, your purpose, your main priority is to create other leaders. Right? And, and that's what we're doing right now. Today, we're going to visit the leaders and we're going to see, hey, based on the, the criteria that we gave you, based on the KPIs, the key performance indicators that I gave you, in terms of your behavior, what has worked for you and what are you challenged at? That's what we're talking about in a coaching session. Can everyone coach? Can everyone coach their team? The answer is yes. If you're in a leadership position, you have the ability and responsibility to actually coach your team members. Otherwise, you're gonna be left out with people who are disengaged. Uh, you're gonna be left out with people na I mean, hindi alam kung bakit pa sila nagtatrabaho and they're only working for the money. And that's the worst. No? When people just start working for the money, they're also gonna leave you because of the money. So, it's gonna be a great day. And ang goal ko is, kasi sa mga ibang vlogs natin, hindi tayo nakaka Parang wala masyadong add value eh. So, in this types of vlogs, sa mga susunod na mga vlogs namin, no, I wanna put more topics. Like, I'm gonna explain to you, ano ba yun? Ano ba yung ginawa ko doon? Diba? So, I, I, I don't just wanna show you, but I also wanna tell you what happens behind the scene and you know us being here right now it's exciting for me because eh, i want to know what updates they had we had around i think it was three weeks two weeks no since our last session with them i believe so and then we had a lot of updates my wife just gave birth little elisha Woo! pictures over here right so that's my amazing baby boy just gave birth august 10. Kaya, ngayon, we're going back to the ball game back on the road checking them out and seeing how they're doing but that's what i'm really excited about no because last time we were talking to them right so wait, i'm just backtracking it a bit uh, it was the beginning of august beginning of august is where we actually did the training uh the end of training it was end of july july 29 was when we had the graduation uh and then august 2 we started giving them the coaching and now now we're gonna go back there so if you're a leader man if you're a leader you're a business owner you're an entrepreneur and you have a team uh, don't just create managers create a new set of leaders who will be there to continue the business when you're not around because that's the ultimate goal right? it's, it's about freedom but you can't achieve freedom if you're not going to be doing the work you got to do the work first so that you can achieve the freedom that you want uh, hopefully get to network it doesn't have to be deals always it doesn't have to be closing sales sometimes it's just about building relationships keeping a relationship i pray and i declare that it's going to be a productive day today and i also hope i hope that you're being productive so i'll see you there okay all right we're here hey morning sino <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. 
Good morning. Good morning. Oh, ay, dito na nga po te. Eric still there? Wala pa. Wala pa. Uh, coaching okay, mo na kami. You met coaching Good yan? Good morning. Uh, mm. Hello, get mo na. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> see you, see you, see you. See you later. All right. Uh, second floor lang. Second floor. Okay. Yeah, so it's here. Uh, so, tulad na sinabi ko, no, we're going to be doing the development part today. So yeah. We have a coaching session with these amazing people. Let's go. Life's good, life's good, but it could be better. I'ma stay in chill mode in the stormy weather. You can get through anything, yeah, I promise that. You just gotta stay forward, no looking back. Life's good, life's good, but it could be better. I'ma stay in chill mode in the stormy weather. You can get through anything, yeah, I promise that. You just gotta stay forward, no looking back. We're serious like about getting respect with that 15 minutes. Gawin nyo siyang sacred time. Kasi if hindi nyo kayong makontrol yung 15 minutes na yun, you can't control anything else. Like, may make sense ba yun? Kaya. It's as simple as setting a calendar. Letting them know. At this time, we're in a huddle. Pero all your team should know. Hmm, huddle. Tapos dapat accept sila lahat. Gets mo? Alright guys, 8.30 na. Eh, wala pa iba. Huwag nyo na hintayin. Pakita nyo na hindi ka naghihintay for people. Kasi you would rather wait for them than do what you said you would do. Gets mo? So you would rather disrespect yourself than leave them. Wrong yun. Respect your word. Respect your time. Respect your commitment. distracting you perhaps right now or during work because fo tulad ng sinabi ko focus is a muscle diba? but we never lose focus it's just that we have our focus on the wrong things right so baka magawin to gawin mo to but I want you to look at me do you see your hand blurred blurred but you can still see me look at your hand right ako na ba yung blurred ako yung malabo right so it's never about, hey, I'm losing focus. No, 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 no. You're still focusing. It's just that you're focusing on the wrong thing. So perhaps, what are you focusing on? What keeps, what grabs your focus? What steals your focus? What steals your attention? Ano yung mga nagdanakaw ng attention mo? That's what you have to figure out. Does that make sense? So what do you think are those? Life's good, life's good, but it could be better. I'ma stay in chill mode in the stormy weather. You can get through anything, yeah, I promise that. It's not the average action. Okay. There's no action, four levels of action. No action, not doing anything. There's retreat action. It's when you see something big, you back out. Then, then there's the next level, which is the average action. It's when you think you're doing a lot already, but in reality, you're just doing what's expected. Mm -hmm. And that's scary mm -hmm. because you're never sure that you're there. Because you don't realize it. Ito, kadalasan ng mga tao, hindi nila na-realize that they're just staying in the average level. That they're just doing what's expected. And when you're average, it's a dying formula. What you have to be at is massive action. You jump on fourth. That's the fourth level. And... Based from what you're telling me right now, would you say that that's massive action? Uh, you're giving me things that you're already doing. Am I correct? See? So it's average action. There's nothing new there. Do you understand? Yeah. There's nothing new there. If you're going to be doing the same old things, you're going to get the same old result. There's nothing new there. So it's massive No, no, no. Massive is crazy. Massive is doing something that you're not doing before. Like, massive is being crazy enough to say, Hey, baby, I love you. Marry me now. Putting a billboard so that Erich Gonzalez can see you and propose. See in Gaza. Massive act. Think of anyone. Think of any superstar na may isip mo, go. Think, anyone, anyone. Na pag naisip mo, kakilala ko, go. Anyone? Marianne Rivera. Massive action. Works her asses off, right? Like, literally, works. Now he's a multimillionaire. And you don't know what she has been through. Think of someone else. Katie Thompson, basketball. Massive action. MJ, massive action. Kobe. Massive action. No great has ever been great by being average action, what you just wrote down there. Those are things that average sales directors and VPs do. That's not massive. That's what's expected. You know what's massive? Hello? Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is oh, yeah, from AutoKid. No? What can we do to get this ball rolling? Because right now, I'm seeing here that our timeline is we have a lead period of... of of one month and, and we're expecting them. September is when we can get the deal closed, right? But let me ask you this. 
what can I do right now? Para mas maayos na natin to today. I don't want to wait for September. What can we do to make this happen this month? No, we can't do it. I'm sure we can. No, we can't do it. I'm pretty sure we can. What can I do? All right, oh, bye bye, man. Hey, it's me again. Different number. What can we do to make this happen? You know what? We're gonna back out. No, we're gonna back out. No. What can we do? Different number to make this happen. Because I want to give this to you, and I'm serious about this. Send the grab cake. Magpadala ka ng cake don. Auto kid. Let's get started now. That's massive action. You're not thinking big enough. You're thinking my wife's gonna die. That's it. And based from what I'm seeing, I think you're okay with that. You're not giving me massive action, Rico. Give me something else. I'll give you one last chance. You're wasting time right now. You can do it. Go. Rico, when I gave you that challenge, how did you feel? I stressed. Okay. Yeah. To be, to be honest, the judge. Yeah, because you're thinking of your wife. Yeah, of course. You're thinking of like buhay ito eh, parang. Hindi isip ko, kausap kita, kausap ko sa Be honest. Yeah. Another good news is, you just learned what it means to 10x. Life's good, life's good, but it could be better. I'ma stay in chill mode in the stormy weather. You can get through anything, yeah, I promise that. So, what, what happened right now, no, uh, we basically coach these leaders. And this is the importance of coaching. Eh? Sometimes you gotta give tough love to people. And, and you need to know whether is this person, you know, they're different people. Is this person high on will? High on skill? Is this person high on uh, skill, pero low on will? You need to learn that. And we call that the skill will matrix. And leaders should understand Tayo, no? Ikaw, if you're watching this, you're a business owner, you're a leader. You need to understand how to talk to people. There are people na dapat you push them outside of their comfort zones. There are people that should, hey, you guide them through it and you bring them to the next level. And, and there are those that you just take step by step. No? And there are those who are ready for the bigger steps. And, but the overall goal of coaching, the pinaka goal talaga nito, is just to get that alignment with them. It's for them to realize that, hey, ah, okay, gets ko, there's something more pa. There's something more na pwede ko pang malabas. Kaya in voice box, we always say we influence, we influence the mind, we empower the heart, and we activate them so that after that session, bam, you're activated. Do what you're called to do. It's about saying yes to a calling. That's what leadership is. When you let people understand that there's a next level in their life, you let people understand that they're, they're capable of going above and beyond, that they're capable of breaking outside of their limits, Union to tong leadership. And I believe if you're still watching this, I believe that's something that I would go in. Be a great leader. Life's good, life's good, but it could be better. I'ma stay in chill mode in the stormy weather. You can get through anything, yeah, I promise that. You just gotta And that's a wrap, everyone. So that is our vlog for today. You're probably wondering, so ano yun? Ano nangyari? Well, pretty simple, no? We went to our partner client, which is AutoCAD PH, and what we did, Coach Ian and I, is we conducted what we call a coaching session. Now, you're probably wondering, ano yung coaching session? Ano to usap-usa? Papagalitan ba sila? Well, it's not. As a matter of fact, this is the most important tool na pwede mong gamitin in your company to create and develop your leaders. And madaming tao iniisip nila that coaching is just a random chismisan, na kwentuhan lang to, that it's a waste of time. But it's not. It's actually the opposite of what most people think about it. In reality, even though coaching may take some time, it actually saves you a lot of time in the future of doing things over and over again. Kasi kadalasan sa atin, no, if you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, kadalasan sa atin is iniisip natin na nagigits na kagad yung mga sinasabi natin or iniisip natin na if we just leave them for a long time, they're gonna be perfect, they're gonna do well, they're, not, they're going to do great. Now, if you have the most perfect team ever, then yes, maybe hindi mo kailangan ng coaching. But that's not the case with most people, is it? Most often than not, tayo, when we develop a team, when we create a team, most often, nagsisimula sila from scratch. 
And even if they haven't started from scratch, even the great players, the greatest players, man, they need to be coached. Sige, uh, ano nga ba ang coaching? Coaching is simply a way for a leader to support and guide positive behaviors of an individual towards a certain goal and a certain objective. Uh, ano daw? Ibig sabihin ganito guys, no? kapag nagko-coaching ang isang tao, hindi niya pinagagalitan, hindi niya pinapa-feel bad, simple lang ang pinaka-goal niya. Kapag kinu-coach niya yung kanyang employees, yung kanyang teammates, ang purpose niya, ang iniisip niya is, how can I support you? That's it. How can I support you? How can I guide you? How can I drive you and direct you towards where you're supposed to be going? Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. Did he need a coach? Yes, he did. Michael Jordan, did he need a coach? Yes, he did. LeBron James, did he need a coach? Yes, he did. Even though sobrang gagaling na nila, even though sabi mo, hindi, veterano, to, veterano na sila eh. They know a lot of things already, but everyone needs a coach. It's, it's because we all have blind spots and we all need that avenue to simply vent, to simply speak up, without feeling judged, without feeling like papagalitan ako kapag sinabi ko to No. If you are an organization, if you are a business and you want to learn how to coach your team or you would want us to coach your team for you, then go ahead and reach out to us, contact us, message me on Facebook, or even just leave a comment here and we would be more than glad to help you how you can actually coach your team and your people. And then, guys, no coaching is not a waste of time. It's an avenue for you to develop the seeds, to water those seeds until they can sprout, and until yung mga halaman na inaalagaan mo, which is your people, until they start showing fruits for themselves. Hey, listen, if you're watching this, I'm proud of you. I know it's not an accident that you came by this video, and I know that there's a purpose for your life, there's a purpose why you started your business, or there's a purpose why you're thinking of starting your business. If you learned a lot, madami ka natutunan, and you want to see more of this, this style of vlog, then go ahead, comment mo naman yung pinaka na gustahan mo, comment mo yung mga tanong mo, comment mo yung gusto mong isama namin sa mga susunod na vlog. Remember, we're always here to support you. This is The Josh from Voicebox Training University. Isa lang purpose namin, isa lang ang mission namin. It's to influence, empower, and activate 8 billion lives, one person at a time. And don't forget, be loud. Life's good, life's good, but it could be better I'ma stay in chill mode in the stormy weather You can get through anything, yeah, I promise that You just